Should be a good watch this, Adam. Yeah, really good contrast in styles. We're talking about Mark White's sides. Again, I've always enjoyed watching them the last season. I felt they were the entertainers, as Aaron McLean said pre-match. And he's quite right to mention, I felt the way that they were going quite gung-ho defensively. They couldn't just keep conceding goal after goal after goal. And now you've seen a, a lot tighter defence from them. But the injuries are really, really hampered in terms of team selection and trying to build any real momentum. It's place in the Barnet side for the first time this season today. I noticed they've brought Dom Revan back from a loan spell as well at Banbury. He's on the bench today. Former Aston Villa youngster. Ottaway competing for it. And they've found a way through and an opening goal as well. Josh Taylor for Dawkins. Well, how easy was that for the home side? Too easy, really, from a Barnet perspective. But it... Taken quickly as it comes back to Kanu here. Good positive play from him. Brunt, Kabamba wanted it played early. It's reached him now. It's a good block. Taylor to Pryor. Taylor's gone for the return. He'll get to it too. He's got Ottawa arriving in the middle. Still with Taylor. Oh, the first time shot from Pryor is deflected behind for a corner. Keeper went back towards his goal there. He needed to make the save as well, Laurie Walker. Gallagher won that back for Dorking, and now it's Pybus. Ottawa to his right. Cross to the back post, great header! Brilliant goal from Pryor. And Mark Whiteside doubled their lead here. So well taken there by Dorking Wanderers, top scorer this season. Collins, blocked by Pryor, defending as a unit, aren't they here? Dorking, the scorer of the second goal. That behind that. But they're building here, Barnett, Brunt, Kabamba, just waiting for the ball over, and Kanu with the header. And they're patient there. The flip side of that is that they've scored 12 goals fewer than last season. Not quite the great entertainers that they were of the previous campaign. Brunt with the cross. So there's more solidity about them, but they're not maybe scoring and yeah. creating as many, or nowhere near as many as they yeah, did last the neutral. Could they get one back? Gorman's ball in, it was a good one! And pushed out! And a great challenge there, I think it was Pryor, the number nine. Who put in what was a goal-saving challenge there. Brilliant, brilliant ball in there. And Dorking, as it stands, one point outside of the playoffs in the National League as Collins sends it in to Kabamba! A route back into it for the Bees! Their top scorer with a really delicate finish there. The finish of a very confident striker, and it's game on here. That's football in a nutshell, isn't it? This season and last season when the ball goes over the top, because there's not a lot of due on this artificial surface, it can hold up and catch keepers out. Referee's played an advantage here, Beard looking for Kabamba. Is he going to be able to turn? Beard. Nice pull, the play back here, the referee. It looks as well as another player that may step up and take it. But there's a good gap there to hit on the outside of the wall. It's Hartigan, it's absolutely brilliant! Wonderful free kick! Right into the corner! And having been 2-0 down, the Bees are level now. Well, at any level, this... Look how busy it is in that six-yard box. Beard, backed up by Gorman. Gorman with the cross, and they're struggling to get it clear. And Akimo had an effort, and it's in! The turnaround is complete! Collins up from the back.
Oh, it's flicked on and over just, only just over the bar there. And now the counter's on. Here come Barnett, led by Armstrong. Dorking rushing players back. Oh, what a good save to deny Brunt. A goal that would surely have ended it as a contest. I think it just typifies the quality of this second half.